Hello there guys and welcome or welcome back to the channel right so after completing all of Karina's challenges I promised you guides on every single one of them and I will start with a fairly straightforward one I'll go from the challenges that I personally perceive to be the easier ones and then move on over to the harder ones so today we're going to be talking about mystic dispersed where basically you have to complete 5.31 without using any mystic champions but only bringing in your three star champions the rewards for that are three tier 4 cc catalyst three star cyclops both copies and fifteen thousand six star shards so it's a very decent good amount of six star shards in fact this is probably the easiest fifteen thousand six star shards you will ever get to pick up and uh, let's talk strategy now this challenge overall i personally think is the most accessible to everybody because uh, everybody has three star champions that you can easily rank up they do not take any catalysts that four five or six star champions use well five or six star champions use and in general this is very straightforward challenge that can be done without any items definitely without any revives perhaps with a couple of health potions now the first crucial point obviously is selecting your team now selecting your team will obviously also depend on which path you choose to take therefore logically first i will provide you with my path recommendation and then perhaps a couple of alternatives definitely tell you which path to avoid despite the, how they initially look and then we can talk about viable options. So the path that I ended up taking and I recommend for most of you is this one that starts with Black Panther Civil War. Uh, reasons for it is because there are no extra nodes at all whatsoever. And there are not many tricky or hard defenders to go up against. Now Black Panther Civil War is not exactly the most straightforward champion. You have to be careful when you stun him. However, in this quest in general, you kind of want to avoid parry damage because you do take quite a bit of chip damage. Therefore, that's not that big of an issue. And Spider Gwen in itself obviously can be somewhat annoying because she can evade. But uh, in this case, so long as you have a good evade counter, you should be fine. Or if you bring in a champion dedicated for this fight. Uh, in addition, uh, most of you will probably end up using Ghost, and, and a lot of people have already, and obviously Ghost tackles this fight extremely, extremely well. My personal choice was Cyclops, sorry, not Cyclops, Colossus, but we're going to get there. Right, so after Spider-Gwen, there's Gambit, very easy fight, Psylocke, Hawkeye, Red Hulk, super easy. Uh, War Machine, it will involve taking some block damage unless you're using like uh, Ghost, for example, and phasing it through the level 1s. But in general, there's nothing inherently hard about fighting War Machine either, especially with no extra nodes. Then you have Winter Soldier, Star Lord, Rocket Raccoon, and that is it for the path. Then you can teleport to one of the two sides of the mini bosses. My personal suggestion definitely is the X23 and uh, Phoenix one, because the Storm one has degen on it. And you do not want to take that degen with three star champions, it's unnecessary damage. And tackling these two ladies, basically they have slightly increased power gain, but really the fights are not all that difficult or hard. X-23 is a very simple opponent, Phoenix not too bad either, and obviously the Mordo boss. We're going to talk about the boss at the very end, but I'm still going to try and keep this brief. So when we went through the path that I recommend. Now initially, by far the shortest path, and the path that many people will initially want to do, is this one that starts with Spider-Man and Abomination, because after that we have Quake, Captain America, Infinity War, Hulk and Luke Cage, which are inherently not strong opponents, but do not do this lane, because of another DJ node that you would have to tackle, and there are more requirements needed. Decent alternative though, is this Angela, Drax, Ronan, Sim Spidey, Tor, Captain Marvel, Venom, King Groot, Carnage, Venom Pool, and Hyperion Path. But ultimately, I do think that the first path that I suggested is quicker and easier. Right, options and the main key factors for this quest. Now, let me make one point fairly straightforward. I do not think that running suicides for this quest is mandatory or needed. And I'd actually prefer this quest without Suicide Masteries, just because of the length of the fights, recall damages are all but unescapable here. And uh, since you're probably going to be boosting up, and most importantly, you're going to be using champions that have massive damage output regardless, you do not really need to resort to Suicides. Another quick tip here is, before any and every fight, do 
heal up because it is much better to heal up three star champions than waste revives on them that you will need later on in the game remember the revive on a three star champion costs exactly the same as it costs on a six star champion however it costs significantly less to heal them up uh, single or double level three potions will pretty much do the job for most part so uh options to bring in you're looking at the top tier damage dealing options in the game because that is kind of like name of the challenge here where all your damage is going to be halved because you're not allowed mystic champions and keeping that in mind with the combination of the fact that you have to use three stars unless you want to spend two hours doing this challenge which you can do you can quite literally bring in anyone uh you want the hardest hitters in the game and ideally champions that do not necessarily rely on taking a lot of block or parry damage therefore first option definitely ghost is fantastic as i said i personally used fully synergized up colossus he did it extremely quickly and great as well guillotine 2099 aegon star lord chang chi now newly released and available to pretty much every player fantastic options nick is decent option for some of the lane fights but definitely amazing option for the boss in fact nick fury is exactly who i used for the boss uh, going back to other alternative options uh, you can use very tanky champions that have relatively good amount of sustainability like immortal abomination is a fairly perfect choice as well uh, for a lot of these fights just because of the persistent heal and how tanky he is uh, but in general it doesn't really matter as much who you will use as the fact that you do realize that this has to be done with alternate openings because parry damage adds up quick so you want champions uh, like ghost that can find easy ways to punish the opponent or you want to be very good with the intercept game because parrying is the fastest way how you will waste items in this challenge but yeah again in general i like this challenge the most because it's probably the most open challenge uh, together with a 625 challenge where you can build your own, own team and you have a lot of options that you can choose and it doesn't really matter as much again ghost colossus shang chi Aegon, guillotine 2099 a whole bunch of other champions I can't mention all of them because there are far too many. However, let's talk about the Mordo boss. And the Mordo is actually about as simple as you're ever going to see Mordo here because he only has like Plagued Mind or Enhanced Fury. So other than that, there are no real nodes on him. So you just want to use champions that are great against Mordo in general. Uh, that would mean you either want... Uh, stun immune champion no, not stun immune sorry champions that bypass away or champions that are able to deal with his power gain or in general to be honest you can again pretty much use anyone but it is much easier if you have some easy openings for this guy again i use nick fury i let him hit me a couple of times destroyed life model decoy went completely unblockable and after that point the fight was extremely easy uh but you can still use your ghost you can still use your a gun you can still use pretty much any champion that uh does not rely on like parry heavy mechanics because that is like the one thing you can't do in this fight you can't parry and then attack the opponent not to mention that there is a lot of block damage involved so the fact that mordo is the boss is actually very fitting because that in itself kind of foreshadow what is the name of the game to get to the mordo just do not rely on parry use champions with alternate openings uh as i have mentioned before or very very tanky champions and it's more of an endurance test but comparatively speaking with some of the other challenges can be done very quickly this was one of the faster challenges to do uh it took me about half an hour i believe or just under that probably can be done even faster and uh yeah that is the reason why i started with this one because it's uh, more or less the most self-explanatory challenge again i do not recommend suicide masteries for this one recommend you guys go and start with the black panther path here with spider gwen going into gambit and uh, we went over champion options that is it i will be uh posting all of the challenge guides on the channel they will be on the karina's challenge playlist in case you are looking for anybody specifically this is the first one that i make 
and uh, I will try to upload one or two more later today, but uh, they will all be out uh, by the end of the week for sure. That being said, I hope you guys found this video useful. Uh, let me know who did you use if you have already completed this one, and uh, I will catch you guys soon. See ya! Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about the